Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your support. That's greatly appreciated. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check the drop down menu underneath uh, the video on YouTube, uh, on the channel. In there, there's instructions on uh, what I want you to think about as you're using and watching my readings. Also, different ways you can support the channel, how you can book a reading, how you can get in contact with me. All of that stuff is included there. So if you're watching this somewhere other than YouTube, if it's been posted like to Facebook or somewhere else, please um, go to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. Also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the reading. It greatly uh, helps the channel. This is the forecast for... Um, the greater collective, that means all signs for Wednesday, the 21st of April. It's not solely set for that date. It's available to you whenever you watch it. So if you're seeing it on a date other than April 21st, that's okay. Um, there may still be a message in here for you. Um, but um, ultimately, this was originally created for April 21st, building upon the energy of the week. So let's see what the cards have in store for us. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. Talk about a soft, romantic guy coming in on a pure white horse. Messages of love, either from uh, towards us, coming towards us, or maybe outgoing from us. But this would certainly be a chivalrous card, a card of, you know, um, connection to others, appreciating others, or feeling appreciated. The Knight of Cups is extremely romantic. He's there to be loyal, to be of service, to um, make his intentions known. If there's something that we feel passionate about, today would be the day to sort of revel in that passion or that desire for it, that romance for it. This is more about romance versus the desire of a wands card, right? But to me, it's about finding the thing that we love in life, the excitement in life. Remember, we have that Two of Pentacles kind of shifting. We should be shifting from that Sun card, which would be very uh, vibrant and opulent, into that Two of Pentacles, which would kind of ground things. Emotionally, ideally, hopefully we feel good. We should be able to find the positive in life. Today, we should be find, able to find appreciation of ourselves and those around us or be experiencing that sort of appreciation from others and within situations around us, right? Um, there's a sort of a love of life that comes with the Knight of Cups. He's honorable, um, so we want to act as though we are, you know, um, uh, doing the right thing for the right reason, acting from our heart more so than, say, our mind, um, trusting our feelings more so than fighting against them. It would be all of that sort of lovey-dovey energy that we would want to experience today. If you do feel, um, if you have a significant other, maybe today would be a great day to sort of romance them or allow them to romance you, express your feelings to them, let them know how you feel. And if it's just you, then let yourself know how you feel, right, about yourself. Find positive blessings or attributes that you can sort of um, give, like, credit to. Um, uh, allowing yourself to sort of see the good in you and what is sort of right. Remember that stone for the week is generosity. The Knight of Cups would be exactly that energy. Generous with his emotions, generous with his love, generous with his care. So be kind to yourself, be caring to yourself, be caring to others and allow others to care for you too. Allow them to appreciate you and see you. Maybe as we don't see ourselves, right? Sometimes we can be overly critical. The Knight of Cups isn't about that. He sort of is the rose-colored glasses guy. Like, he's going to see you in all your beauty, even in your flaws, right? So let's look at the um, Lightworker Oracle. So we have Divine Talents, number 39, which would be a 12, which would be a 3, correct? Yes, which would be the Mind, Body, Spirit. I love this Divine Talents. To me... We need to appreciate ourselves today, like at a very deep level, is what I think. The divine talents is each one of us is very individual. We each have skill sets and abilities. Um, this is a new card, divine talents. We've not seen it before, but with the Knight of Cups here, I really feel like this is about if we're not being appreciated by others or appreciating someone else, right, in a special way, we should allow ourselves to appreciate 
um, ourselves. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm sorry, it's early. But this divine talents is about, you know, that number three is the mind, body, spirit coming together, honoring all aspects of the selves and falling in love with that, right? Be giving that, um, bringing that into balance. Underneath this is that two of pentacles energy. So grounding into that and twos also are the relationship card to me, you know, the coming together in relationship. There might be a real deepening of our relationship to our own self today where we truly hopefully find an opportunity to see the good in ourselves, to see the talent in ourselves, to see where we're gifted, where we're skilled, where our individual individuality really stands out and it allows us to love ourselves. Um, that would be sort of um, what I'm feeling like these cards are saying today. Uh, there's a, something special within each and every one of us um, and it, it, it's to be honored, appreciated and loved and um and acknowledged and that's kind of what i feel like divine talents is is telling us if there's signs from or synchronicities from the universe that are showing us where our skill set lies pay attention to that allow it to kind of guide you today and 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 be your inspiration for feeling good about yourself um uh and balancing all of that right underneath this is that two of cups so finding that balance of uh, actually, I would say not even a balance. I would say lean more into the love of self today and self-care um, and self-appreciation. And that may enable you to find balance amidst other situations that might be a little bit uh, more complicated or the things that we deal with day to day that kind of sidetrack us away from those sort of connections to self. So let's read this Divine Talents. So Divine Talents... You are a talented soul. Over many lifetimes, you have developed your spiritual abilities to channel higher awareness, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use them. And then the invocation is... I call upon the unconditionally loving orbs of light. Please bring me information, healing energy, and joy as I open my heart to the living presence of the higher spiritual worlds here and now. I ask to see, feel, and know the loving intelligence of the orbs of light in ways that are relaxing, encouraging, joyful, and kind. I ask for the orbs of light to bring peace and blessing to this space to consecrate it as sacred and to protect it so that only energies of light, love, and higher consciousness may in enter. May the unconditionally loving orbs of light bless all those who can benefit from their presence. Through divine love and my own free will, so be it. So this is about honoring ourselves first and foremost, above all else, making that declaration of love and, and care for ourselves. Um, we can also, you know, display that towards others with this Knight of Cups card. But first and foremost, we want to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, our own space, our own energy, our own homes, and, and appreciating those things at a very deep and pure level, right? Now, and being generous with that in spirit. Let's look to the grounding stone. And the grounding stone is on malachite, which is a beautiful stone for the heart chakra. And the stone is namaste, right? Which means the God in me honors the God in you. What I think about this, the minute I look at these cards and I think of that word, I feel like this is not only a namaste within ourselves, right? Like from our higher self acknowledging our mind, um, ego self, but also back. Our mind, the ego self needs to honor our higher self, bringing ourselves, being conscious and aware of that at a mind, um, ego level. And then spirit is always conscious of what we're up to. So our own spirit, bringing those two together in, in thanks of one another, right? In appreciation of one another. Then we take that energy and we bring that out into the world and bestow it upon others, where then we honor the God within others through this word of um, gratitude, which is namaste, right? But first, give that word of gratitude and appreciation and honor to yourself, first and foremost. 
That is your forecast for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you um, want to know when I get go live. And I appreciate each and every one of my viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. This should be lovely energy to work with. All right. Um, enjoy your day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.